Lambert, not funny. Come on, you gotta admit it was a little funny. No. I love you. I love Come you on. too. Keep up. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou rise out of thy slumber? Proverbs chapter 6, verse 9. That's right. You eat your breakfast. I have to get to work. I'll walk you. When I get home, you have the Book of Job, chapter 4, verses 1 through 12 memorized. Here? Roy? Are you Hercules? I got a treat for you. You can have it. Roy! Roy! It's a possum, Mom. Are you going to play with make-believe animals or walk your mama to work? Sorry, Mama. Now you go straight back home and study your Bible. No play and make-believe. Okay. You got Job, and I got a job. Bye, Mama. Bye now. Jen, hello. Sheriff, it's about time. I'm having my quilt sale, and Betty is having her quilt sale on the same day. She doesn't have a permit, does she? Come with me. Let's cross the line, demarcation. Good morning, Betty. Sheriff. Ladies, as far as I'm concerned, these are works of art. And if I had my way, I'd hang them in the museum. But if you don't combine the sale, I'm going to have to shut you both down. Call me if you need anything. I would have shut them down anyway on a non-professional permit violation. Well, you didn't grow up around here. And I would have issued a citation. We're here to keep peace, not to be a burden on the people. Get in the car. Sheriff Grady, we got someone reporting a code 14. Say again, Eleanor. 14, tell Grady code 14. Missing person. We don't get a lot of those. He's always on time. He's a time freak. He lives by his schedule. He can't not be on his schedule. And you haven't seen him since? Eight this morning. It's only been three hours. I'm telling you, he'd rather die than be late for anything. I think he's hurt. Something happened. We have to wait 24 hours before a person's considered officially missing. Call the vet. Uh, Phil Hedge, he's got a great tracking dog. Could you give me a piece of Lambert's clothing? Something that he wore a lot. Yes. Good. Sarah, everything's gonna be fine. Thank you, Sheriff. Get on that. Oh, 
That's right. Let's go. Good dog. You go find him. That's right. You go find him. You go, boy. You go. That's it. So, uh, Mary gonna cook one of her apple pies for the Corn and Apple Festival? I guess. But why wait till next week? You can come over any time and have some. See you all day. I have to see you at night, too. You want some pie? Yeah. That was quick. What's he doing? I don't know. I've never seen this before. Spooked. It's very spooked by something. But whoever you're looking for, I'm sure they went in that direction. It's okay, Bosco. It's gonna be okay. Call Eleanor. Tell her we're starting where the dog left off. On it. Okay. Eleanor, we're gonna do a search on foot for the fallen jogger. Glad you called, Sharon. We just got another one for. You know Okadi Sheriff? He barely leaves the house, let alone the property. He only goes out to hunt or tend to the garden. I bring him food and water once a week. Drop it off if he's not around. Mm -hmm. Well, the house is empty. I dropped supplies last Monday. They ain't been touched. I was checking around and I found his gun out here. He loves this gun. He'd never leave it. Something was dragged here. Whoever perished being innocent, when were the just destroyed? On the contrary, I've seen those who work in equity, consumed by the spirit of his holy wrath, the roaring. Just his wrath, Roy. The words of the good book don't need to be dressed up. The tiger hath perished for want of prey, and the young lions have been scattered abroad. Those animals have it pretty hard. The Bible isn't talking about animals, Roy. It's trying to tell us something about people. Even powerful people who sin will suffer God's wrath. Next chapter. The Roaring of the Lion and the voice of the lioness, and the teeth of the what? Time. Mom, I think there's a lion out here. None of your make believe. Bedtime.
Walking again. Sorry, Mama. I swear you got your guardian angel working overtime. I've dealt with bodies found outdoors after being dead a lot longer than old Cotty here. And nothing's done this to him. He need an army of raccoons to do this. To do what, Doc? Eat him. Eat him? All that's left is part of a leg, part of an arm, and four separated fingers. What, what do you think happened? I think it's gang violence, or a drifter, or a transient, psychopath. A serial killer looking for body parts for a trophy. But he wasn't cut up. He was chewed up. You see these ridges here? Not cut. Bitten. Chewed. A bear. Would be like no bear I have ever seen. From these bite marks. The jaws must be huge. They, they gotta be... Oh, Jules, there's nothing out there like that. I know that, Grady. But the person didn't do this. I'm not saying I know what it did. But what I am saying is... Lock your doors. Warn people. Just put the apple pies down by the donuts there. Did you hear the latest from Principal Tate and the school board? They want to cut music from the school program. Can you imagine? Taking music from my fifth graders. Baby? Can you imagine? Sure. I think that's a good idea. You what? Uh, where do you want the pie? On the table. Uh, Brady, where's your head at? I would like for you to make an announcement to the students, telling them not to go in the woods. We have a problem there. Okay. Hey, Sheriff. Mayor. We got no problem with uh, Corn and Apple Fest, right? If there's traffic congestion on Main Street, we can open up the parking lane? Just like every year. Yeah. Now, uh, Mary sure is good with the kids. Hey, how come you two never chose to have him? Have a bear's law. Jesus. Has this ever happened to you? Four weekends in a row. No deer at all. You want to make it five weeks? You just keep up the chit chat. What are you doing? Salvage the rest of this weekend. Fred invited me to a paint gun battle. Paint gun is pretend, Harry. Oh, well, so's this if you ain't shooting nothing. You can join us later, you know. Be like that then. See if I care.
Hey, Pat. It's my palm pilot up there. Hey, Pat. Think his gun could have misfired? Wandered off for help? If he did, why didn't Harry hear it? Hey, over here! Oh, come on. What do you got? I want a cast of this made right now. Right now. Have you had a chance to check out the cast? Yeah, sure. Tiger. So what? Where'd you get it? A what? Front poor pa. Big two. A tiger? Yeah. You know, um, big cat, bow, ten feet long, orange and black stripes. Yes, Phil. I know what a tiger is. So where'd you get the cast? Twenty minutes from here. In the woods. It's, uh, it's impossible. Tiger in the woods. Come on, they're in India, China, that sort of thing. It's killing people, Phil. That jogger? Now we got bad marms in Old County. Do you know of any zoo that might be missing a tiger? Uh, I haven't seen any reports from any local zoos about an escape. Well, what about a circus, a parade, Siegfried and Roy? Uh, it's, it's probably an undocumented animal. Black market. Black market. Oh, big demand for exotic animals. Uh, as pets or for their organs and glands. Sometimes their blood. Do you know anyone who can stop it and kill it? Tigers are at the top of the food chain. You can't just walk into the woods and kill a tiger. They're faster than we are, stronger than we are, and deadly smart. Tiger hears you coming a mile away. They move without making a sound. In the woods? You could be standing 20 feet away from one. Wouldn't even know. I could survive for years out there. For years? As long as the food holds out. Excuse me. Thank you very much. Yeah. Go, Sharon. We just found the remains of the jogger. Half a leg with a sneaker on it. That's it? Well, there's... Some hair, a few pieces of bone. We're gonna go deeper into the woods and look for more. No, no, no. Get everyone out of the woods. Now. Right now. Please tell the governor I have an emergency here. I have three dead already. I'm sorry, now is just not a good time. Well, when is a good time? When I have three more dead? <laughs> Eleanor, call the press. You mean Harold at Taruga County Enquirer? I no! I mean the press. Wow. Right now we don't know much, and our facts are disconnected. But what we do know, we have three dead people. And this all started a few days ago when we found the remains of a man named Cotty Washburn. His body was torn to bits. We took a plaster cast we found near the second body to Phil Hedge, who is a local veterinarian, where he told me 
is from a Bengal tiger. Where do a Bengal tiger? Where do a Bengal tiger? How are you going to protect this, sir? You please go. Hey! Thank you. Yes. Sheriff Kathy Keurig, News 8, Bengal Tiger. What exactly does this mean for your community? That means we have a tiger on the loose that's eating people. I do understand that tigers hunt both night and day. So I want to tell everyone who has to go outside to do farm work or such to go in groups and be armed. And all the other people stay inside as much as possible until it's over. Is he out of his mind? This is Kathy Keurig reporting live from Taruga County. Are you out of your mind? Corn and Apple Fest is about to kick off and you're on statewide TV telling people to stay away. We got a killer out there. Yeah, we don't handle this right. We'll get killed at the next election. Only two of the dead were voters. You stay out of this. Who was killed? Cardi Washburn, Pat Martins, and Sarah Johnson's new boyfriend. For the love of... Where did a tiger come from? Tigerland? I don't know. I have notified everyone, including the governor. You phoned the governor. That was my call, not yours. Now look, a tiger hunts in, in what kind of territory, what range? I've been told as far as 200 miles. So, it could be gone tomorrow and never come back and be someone else's problem. Look, all I'm asking is that you not create a public panic, and I don't want any public shelters either. We've got a nice, safe town, maintain security, but do it quietly. A grown man. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. I hate the dark. It's a difference. Don't worry, little fella. There aren't any monsters out there. posted a reward for the tiger. You gotta be kidding. No, nope. on the internet. Can you take it down? G get it taken down. I'll see what I can do. He went up sometime last night, but word's spreading. I'll be there in 20 minutes. It got someone else? No, some idiot posted a reward for the head of the tiger on the internet. We are now gathering information, so have patience. We're tying some loose ends up together. Sheriff, can you please tell us give us some answers? All right. 
Who was it? Who put up that reward? Was it Bill Hall? Was it Old Whitfield? Not the mayor. Please tell me it wasn't the mayor. Entertainment Weekly. Why? It's a pretty big story, I guess. Has it been taken down? Already taken care of. Good, good. Get the word out that the reward has been rescinded. Get a memo to the press that we are arresting anyone found in the woods hunting. And anyone found off-road with a gun will be put in prison. We don't have a prison, Chief. What in God's name is happening now? Come on, we gotta get some words. Come on, come on. Keep me back, like, and get some B-roll to share. Oh, look, Wolf is here. I heard you were in the tunnel when Diana got killed. You know what the rags are paying for the first shot of this thing? You scum. Go to hell. Don't touch my hair. Wanna play? Sure. Can't come out though. Mom says. Uh, wanna come in? No, that's okay. How come you never wanna come in? No reason. Oh, hello. Who are you? Roy Saturday, ma'am. Oh, you're Roy. George has told me all about you. So you're not in school either? No, ma'am. You're very polite, aren't you, Roy? A real gentleman. Did you walk here? Yes, ma'am. It's not safe to walk right now, Roy. Don't you know about the tiger? You know about it too? Well, of course we do. It's been in the news. It's killed three people. Isn't that why you're not in school either? What school did you say you go to? A uh, different school. Other side of the river. Well, I'd like to give your mom a call just to let her know that you got here, okay? Sure, ma'am. Our phone's out, though. Something's wrong with it. Maybe I'll come back another time. Roy, you come back here right now! It's okay, Mrs. Willard. I'll be fine. Any idiot can hide from a patrol car. It takes a special kind of idiot to go tiger hunting. Sheriff, unit two. Go, Ezra. I found a crashed one-ton truck out here on Route 67 past Cottonmouth Road. There's some kind of a wooden crate in the back. It's busted open. It's probably skidded off the road at night. Looks like a big animal cage. It's busted wide open. It's probably that black market thing that Phil was talking about. Are there any witnesses? Not likely way out here.
Any sign of the driver? Well, he wasn't in the cab. I'm guessing he either ran off or... Uh, scratch that. I found the driver. Well, what's left of him? Call the coroner. And heck... Hey, boy, come back here right now. This is the sheriff. Photographer. Let's see. Yeah. What time is it? One forty seven. Phil Hedge said it could be 20 feet away and we would not see it. About 20 feet to that thicket. No. Kathy Curick, News 8. What happened here, Sheriff? Ma'am, you are trespassing on a possible crime scene. You are interfering with police well, procedure. I'm you are interfering with back freedom of the press. Right now. Where's Wolf? That's what we're trying to find out, ma'am. Well, did he get any shots? So much for keeping a lid on things. I've seen these. So has the governor. He called me to say the nation is shocked at our loss. Shocked! He was surprised that we had him called to let him know about this sooner. Of course, he didn't promise any compensation for that damage this tiger publicity might do. But he is mobilizing the National Guard. Good. When will they be here? Tomorrow morning, they want us to clear the area near the Tiger's last kill. We got it covered. And I want you to meet with them out there, away from town, away from the reporters and cameras, okay? We're getting reinforcements? Yeah. Thank God. That has to last till lunchtime, so chew properly. You're not an animal. You, Roy? Come over here, please. Mrs. Willett called my office yesterday, saying a boy named Roy came by, telling her he lived on Ten Mile Road. Nobody lives on Ten Mile Road. That's a Forest Service road. Yes, sir. Well, don't you know there's a tiger loose in the woods? Didn't you hear me on TV telling everybody to stay inside? No, sir. We don't have a TV. Huh. Or a phone. Soldiers. Soldiers? Yeah. They're here to kill the tiger. Kill it? Roy, listen to me. I'm telling you directly, unless you're with a group of people. It's not safe out there. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You promise? Yes. Good. Let's get in the car.
Ma. Mrs. Satterley. Mrs. Satterley. I'm Sheriff Grady Barnes, and there is a tiger loose in the woods, as I'm sure you are aware. It's very important you keep Roy inside as much as possible. Of course. Thank you, Sheriff. Come inside, Roy. Good day. You told the sheriff you saw a tiger? Oh, no, no. Roy. Don't lie to me or anyone else about any of your make-believe animals. There are no kangaroos or lions or tigers out there. But, Mama, I saw. No more, child. No more. We're as safe here as in God's pocket. There's nothing outside but what the good Lord put there. Now you go play. Success. Nathan Lowe has sold all of his paintings already, believe that? Hey, maybe we can do this again next year, you know? Rent a tiger, keep it in a cage. Sheriff? Sergeant Winshizer. I'm Sheriff Grady Barnes. This is my deputy Weinman. We'll take it from here, Grady. Well, is this all there is? You've only brought six guardsmen. What did you expect, Grady? A regiment? No, but we have an animal that's eating four, maybe five people. Do not feed the animals. Is that what you're trying to say, Grady? <laughs> we are hunting a tiger, not a terrorist. Well, my men think if you do more studies on well, with all due respect to your men, Sheriff, my boys here, see, they can brush aside a tiger without too much trouble. All right, boys, bring it in. Our target has kills in these four areas. We are going to move through the northern sector of the force starting here across the target's territory to the south. We will be using the standard A-frame recon formation, three teams of two. Now, by triangulating, we will be most efficient. Each two-man team will anchor the others, always in communication. Each sector will be cleared until we locate and exterminate this target. Now, do we have any questions? No, no sir. sir. Good. Is there anything I can do? Well, now, you're good at keeping the peace, Sheriff. You just leave the kill to us. <laughs> now, did I not ask to have this sector cleared? We cleared it out yesterday. Well, then what in Sam Hill is that? There's no camping out here. This area is restricted. Of course it's restricted. You have a tiger hunting in your wood. T? Sir, it's very dangerous for you to be here. There's a lot going on here. We have the National Guard, 
It's just not right for you to be here. Colonel James Livingston Graham, Your Majesty's Armed Forces, retired. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sheriff. Grady. Grady. And your name is Colonel James Graham? Just, just Jim, please. I read about your problem in the Times. It's extraordinary. So your tiger has killed four so far, is that right? I don't want to make it five. And the last tiger I killed had eaten 228 people. What? I thought my shikar days were over. Shikar? It means hunt in Hindi. Uh, you ever hear of it? Look, Colonel, yes, you don't understand. Jim, please. Jim, you do not understand what I'm dealing Sheriff, with. Sheriff, I would say I know more about tigers and how to hunt them than anyone in the world. I read about yours in England just yesterday, and there is no time to lose. Only two things are assured. Tigers are great hunters, and tigers hunt night and day. And don't worry, Sheriff. Your soldiers will fail. I'll start my hunt when they're finished. Cheerio. Unit one, area clear. Continuing due south. Copy that. Unit two. All clear, proceeding southeast. Unit three. Clear, continuing southeast. Wow, goose chase. Listen up, teams. We're coming to the end of the first sector. Hold positions. First sector all clear, Sergeant. Roger that, Corporal. Start sector two recon immediately. Roger that, sir. Timmons, take a new course. Timmons? Timmons! Timmons! Report immediately. Missing a man, Sergeant. He was right next to me a moment ago. Say again, Corporal. May have a man down here. How? Hold your position. Units two and three report to Corporal Howe immediately. You shouldn't be walking through the woods alone. I just came to meet my mom. Don't you know what's going on out there? Man -eater. 
the 600-pound Taruga County Tiger. Local authorities confirm that they have found gruesome half-eaten remains and scattered body parts. Forensic evidence indicates each victim was ruthlessly stalked, attacked, and slaughtered in the woods surrounding this small town. Authorities are urging everyone to stay inside until the National Guard finish operations and destroy this vicious man-eater. Reporting from a town in terror, I'm Kathy Curick, News 8. Why do they have to destroy it? Didn't you hear? It's killing people. It's lost and starving. Why can't they just feed it until they can catch it? You better pray it don't catch you. No, it's not like that. It's nice. I've seen it. You've seen the tiger? Uh, no. I mean, uh, in a dream, make-believe. A nightmare sounds more like it. Well, let's hope the army gets rid of this thing right quick. He was right beside me. And then he's gone. No sound. Nothing. No sign of a body. No sign of a tiger. Nothing. Do you have a plan B? Call up reinforcements. No need to risk more men, Sergeant. For the inexperienced, stalking a man-eating tiger is an exotic means of suicide. Look here was moving. Then it stopped. It waited for your men to pass. And then it seized one of them from behind. The first bite would have likely crushed his windpipe so he could make no sound. And then the tiger dragged him backwards. This way. Your man. I'm sorry, Sergeant. Greater, get the civilian out of my sight. I've hunted and killed 12 tigers in my career, Sergeant. How many of you? I work alone, Sheriff. Alone? Just me and my double rifle. Shame it for the 470 Nitro Express. Two shots before I reload. Enough to bring down a bull elephant. It was presented to me by the government of India for esteemed services. Why come with me, Sheriff? Especially after what we just saw back there. Because you're the only person that seems to know what to do here, that's why. Mm. Not by happiness. Not by progeny, not by wealth. But by sacrifice alone can immortal goals be achieved. It's an old Hindu teaching. That's nice. But what I want to find... I was staying in a small house in India with my family, just outside Delhi, many years ago. Four of us on the floor asleep. It was a hot night. A window had been left open to circulate the air. Without waking us, a tiger crept inside, dragged my 12-year-old son out of the room and quietly killed him. The banging noise that awoke us was the beast having pulled the body halfway out through the bathroom window and getting it stuck. The kind of knowledge you need for this is not something that can be passed along as idle advice. Go back to town. Ten to you, people. I'll check in later.
Mom, did you see the news on the TV at the store today? There's no time for that nonsense, Roy. Besides, Mrs. Dugan had me scrubbing the back room today. Do you know if people on TV are actually telling the truth? You won't find the truth on TV. The good book's the only truth you need. Yeah, I guess so. I'll make us a nice dinner tonight. Annie gave me some cans of soup. in a dream. Give me a shot at it. I'll blow its damn brains out. <laughs> Think so? I know so. I'm gonna put his head on my wall. Is that the National Guard? Yeah, they're doing roadblocks now, keeping out bounty hunters. Guardsmen, this is the deputy sheriff. Can you hear me? This is the Deputy Sheriff. Can you hear me? They left in a hurry. Not that long ago. Call Eleanor, let her know where we are and why. You see that tiger, you lean on the car horn. <laughs> to hell with the horn. If I see that tiger, kablam. I'm a hero. Shot? It's here. Call my partner. Ezra, you see it? 
and we're gonna get you to a hospital, okay? No, no, don't leave me. Sorry, you're gonna be okay. You just hang in there, I'll be right back. No, 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 don't go, don't go. Ready? Yes, Eleanor. Hmm. Where is the location? Thank you. Grady? Sharon and Ezra found an abandoned National Guard troop carrier. Two guards were missing. Sharon and Ezra are not responding. Oh, my God. Yeah. Grady? I know. Remarkable. Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Roy. Roy Sadley. Mine's Jim. You stood right there earlier today when the tiger was here? He comes to your window at night and just sits there. You know about the tiger? You're not afraid of it? No. Do you know where tigers come from? Tigers? Come from Asia. It's a land far away. According to one Buddhist legend, a young boy, severely whipped or given many stripes by his teacher, ran off into the woods. And in his rage, he became the first tiger. Really? Why do you think the tiger comes to you? I don't know. I dream about him. 
that you're a tiger. Yeah, in these woods. I think you are a very special young man, Roy. out here your whole life? Yes, sir. Can you tell me what made those tracks? Two deer. Probably a doe and her fawn. Can you tell me where they went? They came here. Something scared them. They moved quickly in that direction. How long ago? Maybe two days ago. And nobody's taught you how to do this? No, sir. It's just obvious, isn't it? Yes. I suppose it is. To some. Sir. Yes, Roy. I heard they're bringing soldiers to kill the tiger. They're going to try, yes. But why? Because it's dangerous, Roy. It doesn't want to hurt anyone. Just because you find something beautiful doesn't mean that you understand it. Are you going to kill him? Yes. Because he can't choose what he is. He hunts. And if he's near people, he hunts people too, and I, I can't let that happen. I've enjoyed meeting you very much, Roy. I hope I see you again. Bye. Bye. Jim. I'll be here tomorrow if you want to come by. This is a crime here. scene. I need everyone. I need everyone to get back in their vehicles. Everyone go back to the vehicles. Can I get a it's picture? Clear. Have you personally seen the area? Yeah. 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 Sure. We, we were separated barely for a minute. I should have radioed in. I didn't follow procedure. It's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. I left him. Cheerio. It's just a little further. My mom finds out in the woods she'll kill me. Come on, it's just up here. Are you sure it's safe? Here. Take a look. Ooh. I told you. That's from a tiger? Yeah. How could a tiger take down two trained, heavily armed men? Because they left the relative safety of their lorry.
Perhaps the tiger showed itself unwittingly, or deliberately. In any case, the guardsmen saw something and came after it with their weapons. The drop pattern of these casings here indicates a concentrated arc of shooting. It's a sweeping movement. They fired in panic, or earnestness perhaps, at hearing something or seeing some movement. At close range, with all that firepower, how did they miss? The tiger was not where they were shooting. They came out here. The first man was clearly shot, not attacked by the tiger. He fell here where your deputy found him. The second man was dragged through here, likely while still alive. He died here as the tiger shook him, broke his neck and dragged him further away. What about my deputy Ezra? The tiger probably crawled up to the patrol car. It reared up and dragged your man clear out of the car. The horn was honked during the struggle, but he was killed immediately. A truly amazing hunter. Amazing hunter. I'm betting on us, Colonel. Are you? I apologize. It's been a long day for everyone. Anyone know this guy? Sheriff seems awfully interested in whatever he's saying. Oh, uh, Sheriff. If possible, I'd like to avoid the press. Not too fond of the coverage, as it were. I'm in agreement. Is there an I? No, no I. One guess left. You? No, no you. You lose. You don't have to enjoy it so much. <laughs> what word was that anyway? Trailer. T-R-A-L-E-R. -E Roy, there is so an I in trailer. It's spelled T-R-A-I-L-E-R. -E Whoops. <laughs> Never mind. Hand me a fresh sheet of paper. Mom, Georgie Willett goes to school. Do all kids go to a school? I want you here, learning your Bible, safe from the evils and temptations of the world. Now it's your turn to guess. You may have already heard this, but we lost three people yesterday to the Tiger. Two National Guardsmen and one deputy. Sheriff, it's been said that tigers return to the kill to feed later. Are you going to leave the bodies out as bait to see if the tiger will come back to feed on them? No. We respect our dead here. Can you tell us about the specialist you've brought in? We brought no one in. And even if we have, I would not disclose his name to you. His name is Colonel James Graham, isn't that right, Sheriff? Well-known English tiger hunter? He will not be doing interviews at this time, and I ask you to respect his privacy. Maybe because Graham was run out of India after his last failed hunt, a two-year failure where that tiger killed over 200 people. Graham was blamed for letting it get away time and time again. Care to comment? That doesn't compare with this. You didn't check his resume before hiring him, Sheriff? 
We're doing our best to be better. With a failed tiger hunter? You want to crack at this? You want to lead the search tomorrow? I just lost a deputy right here, who I've known since he was a young boy. There will be no more questions. Sheriff, Sheriff can you Sheriff, please tell us? Things not going well in Taruga County as tempers flare and three more killed by the man-eating tiger. With the body count at seven, local law enforcement steps are being questioned. Turn it off, Eric, please. Taruga County. I don't know what to say. Ezra was my only son. Do you understand that? I'm so sorry. But what do you know? You never had kids. You don't know. Mary and I have prayed to have children. Believe me. I remember the very first time Ez told me he wanted to be a sheriff. That was his dream, you know? He was after your job. It was Christmas years ago. He was just eight years old. And Santa brought him a cowboy hat and a silly silver marshal's badge and some damn thing. And he, he, he put on that hat, and he turned to me and he said, Daddy, you're under arrest. <laughs> Kill it, Grady. Colonel Graham is Sheriff Grady. Good evening. Hello, Sheriff. Back coming? You didn't catch your last tiger. Has that come up already? Well, I was trying, of course. But the tiger was elusive. And then I became a tool to embarrass the sitting government just before elections. The media loved it. They turned against me. Then people turned against me. People I had loved my whole life. And eventually it became dangerous for me to stay in India. Death threats and so on. And so I was asked to leave the country where I was born. Just tell me you're not here to settle a little score. That's precisely what I am here for. Past your bedtime. I killed you. I saw. A dream? Come on. I'll take you home. You shouldn't be out alone at night. My mom's still working at Dugan's. She closes tonight. All right. I'll take you there then. Come on. 
What did I tell you about talking with strangers? Mom, look out! No! Roy! Lord! Stay close to me, Roy. Okay, I'll check it out. I'm not far. Roy, where are you? I know you're scared, but I need to know where you are. Where are you? I'm over here, under the truck.
run to my truck as fast as you can. Now, go, go, go! We'll be playing much cricket this season, I suspect. I don't see why you can't stay. You got a home away from home. My wife Mary makes the best pecan pie you'll ever taste. Thank you, Grady, but I need to go home now. It's been made all too clear to me that this was my last hunt, with no regrets. Thank you for that. Thank you. It's a rare spirit, that one. And he's fallen into your hands. Mary, I have someone I want you to meet. His name is Roy. Hello, Roy. Come on inside. It's all right. <laughs> 